Mayfield can't catch up to it. Corrals it against the fence. And it will be a double for Sean Ochinko. After going one for four against South Carolina last Sunday, LSU first baseman slash catcher Sean Ochinko now leads the team hitting a cool 443 through the Tigers' first 22 games. These are the type of numbers that Coach Paul Maneri says Ochinko expected out of himself from the first day he stepped on campus in 2007. He had an unwaverable self-confidence about himself. Some people might say it was cocky or arrogant. He thought he could do anything he wanted to do. But we reminded just one season ago, Ochinko was mired in a sophomore slump and was unable to repeat the successes of his freshman All-American season. In the third game of a three-game series with Florida, Coach Paul Maneri benched Ochinko in favor of highly touted freshman Micah Gibbs. As a freshman, he had been such a vital part of the team, and now to lose your job to a freshman had to be a very, very tough thing for him emotionally. During the team's miraculous run, Ochinko could only stand and watch from the top step of the dugout. You know, it was, it was definitely upsetting, and sometimes you take for granted uh, going out there and, and playing every single day. Uh, I definitely took it for granted. It kind of helped me out in the long run because I realized, uh, you know, every time I step out there, you know, I got I to gotta appreciate what I have. Teammates believe his perseverance through the adversity he experienced last season made him a better player. You know, him going through what he did last year and staying at LSU and just sticking it out and working hard, and nobody else deserves it more than him. You know, I know I didn't get the job done a lot last year, and it feels good uh, coming back and seeing guys uh, watch me play and do well for the team again. If Ochinko continues to swing the bat the way he has, he'll once again find himself on everybody's All-American teams. Reporting for Newsbreak, I'm Eric Vollenweider.